Hello, and welcome to a new episode of Thursday Reviews. Today, we are not going to be reviewing this camera. Do you see what that says? Change the batteries. Well, looks like it's time to use our old friend, the Energizer 15-minute battery charger. So, let's go review this, but not this. Here it is. It is the 15 minute AA and AAA battery charger. So it's very simply labeled. Um, that's what it says is what it does. Does it charge the batteries in 15 minutes? Yes. But hang on a minute. This thing's missing something. Oh yeah. It's got, yeah, I'll give some more specs in a minute, but it's missing something. Incoming! The cord. Yeah, it's got this massive power brick. And it's got AC power, I think. No, it's got DC power. And it plugs in on the side here. And then this whole box plugs into the wall to charge the batteries. So, um, how does this work? Well, it's actually a AA and a AAA battery charger, and I'll show you how that's even possible in just a second. But it has, this thing is well ventilated, because for it to charge the batteries in less than 20 minutes means that it's going to be heating up the batteries a lot. And so it does have a blower fan in the back to vent out the air. This thing will be sitting on the floor, and it has these little feet here to keep it kind of elevated so that there is some airflow to blow out through the top of the batteries. If you charge AA batteries, they heat up a lot more than AAA batteries. So just be careful of that. If you have AAAs in, or AA's in here, they will be very hot when, it first, when they're first done. Speaking of, how do you know whether the batteries are charged or charging? This little light right here. If it's light, if it lights up red, then that means the batteries are charging. If it lights up green, that means the battery is fully charged. And if it starts rapidly blinking red, then that means your batteries are totally 100% used up. You cannot any longer recharge the batteries. You can't just use them forever and recharge them and recharge them until the day you die. No, it doesn't work like that, unfortunately. So, um, yeah, the batteries, you can fit up to four batteries, as you can see here. And so I'm going to show you the size difference between a AA and a AAA and how they work in this battery charger. So here are a couple of batteries. This over here is a AA and this over here is a AAA. So to get the AAAs in, you just simply slide them in at an angle and you always have the positive side of the battery this little the one with the the little nub on the top you always have that touching these little sp spring loaded things in here so you always touch the positive end to here oh, whoa, 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 whoa. and you just set them in there like that the battery stays in and it does not come out the only way to take it out is to push the battery back this way and then just lift up and pull the whole thing out. Now, AA batteries can also be used in these slots as well, but they're a little harder to get in. You also put them on the positive nub on the top and you just push it all the way back and it snaps right in. And these are even a much tighter fit. And see the whole thing? It just goes all the way back to the back of the battery charger. And so to get these ones out, it's already all the way back, so it's a bit tricky, but you just gotta kind of it, sometimes it's even easier to just put your finger in here and just kind of pop the whole thing out even though it sounds like I almost broke it but yeah these are springy so they're able to hold both sizes of batteries do not recharge one single battery that is dangerous you should only be charging even number of batteries you should only either be charging two or four batteries you could actually ruin the single battery that you're putting in there and um, just to prove there you can do this I actually don't know 
if you can recharge two double A's and two triple A's at the same time, I would advise against it just in case it's charging them at different voltages so you might be overcharging your um, other set of batteries. So we actually have something that we can put to the test. It's this camera that keeps saying change the batteries and it won't let me turn it on. Um, well, it'll let me go into the playback thing, but the battery is about to die when you do that. So, um, This camera, lucky enough for me, takes two AA batteries, which I have failed to hold in my hand. So I'm going to put these two batteries into the battery charger. Again, the AA's are a lot harder to get in and out of here. I'm going to plug in the AC power and we're going to move to the location that we're going to plug this in at. So this I'm going to plug into the wall and it's going to immediately charge the batteries and I'm going to start this timer and I'm going to keep a close eye on it and as soon as it turns green I'm going to stop the timer and start recording with this camcorder. Actually I'm, going to ju I'm just going to have this camcorder set up on a tripod recording the whole setup and that way when it's done you can see exactly when it turns green. Okay, so this is actually going to be a two-handed process, so I'm going to have to put this down and it's going to look a little weird, I'm sorry. Alright, let the moment of truth begin. Three, two, one. So, here it goes. It is now charging the batteries. The fan has come on. And um, I'm going to get this camcorder set up on the tripod, and we'll see how this goes. So it's nice and quiet in this room, and I don't know if you can tell, but this thing is a bit noisy because of the fan. So if you don't mind the noise, it's fine. See if you pick it up. You can actually even touch the batteries to see how warm they're getting. They're not too bad yet. But I will have my thermometer ready as well to measure the temperature of this. And so the next part of this video that you'll see is when this is about to turn green. Alright, so in actually under 15 minutes, the battery charger has fully charged the two batteries. Now, the fan will actually remain on for another 10 minutes or so, and it does automatically shut itself off um, to save some power. So, um, we are going to zoom this out. Well, no, not really. But... We have my thermometer here. Pretty cold in here. It's 64.1 in here. Okay, so let's unplug it. Oops, I just knocked the flashlight off the wall. It's that magnetic flashlight from episode 2, if any of you remember. Or episode 1, actually. It was the first thing I ever reviewed. So, we're going to just take these out now. And I just stick the battery in right here. Look, okay, I'm not holding on to the battery. Let's see what it thought. 95 degrees. If we put the other one in there, do the same thing. So it's gathering the temperature right now. Okay, let's see what it thought. 95 degrees. These batteries are very warm. Well, that's Fahrenheit. For anyone that needs Celsius, it's 35 Celsius. So, um... Yeah, on my channel I like to do unit conversions, as I'm sure you've noticed if you've watched How Much Does It Weigh. Um, so, that is the 15 minute battery charger, and now we're going to see what I think about it. So here's the two batteries, and here's the camera. I'm going to put the batteries in the camera, and I'm going to prove to you that they are fully charged. I hope I'm putting these in right. Um, it should work. First try. Perfect. I would say if you want to get a time frame for how long they take, usually between 12 and 20 minutes. 
if you're charging four batteries, it's probably going to be closer to the, the 20 minute or even more than 20 minutes. We've had this battery charger for a good nine to ten years, and um, it works just like the day we bought it. This thing has not lost any power, it has not lost any ability, and um, it's been the most reliable battery charger that I think we've ever had because, I mean, it, it, it's able to charge in 15 to 20 minutes every single time. It is so consistent. Another pro is that this battery charger actually knows when the batteries are not good to charge anymore because it'll start flashing red and it won't charge it. So what cons do I have? Not many, actually. The first is that it, it is a bit noisy. It's, it has that high pitch humming noise for a while. Uh, for, you know, for 15, 20 minutes while it's charging. But once again, like I said, if you don't mind having a little noise in the background um, while you have batteries charging, then, I mean, get this. So unfortunately, when you charge a battery in 15 to 20 minutes over and over and over again, it's going to degrade the life expectancy of that battery by quite a bit. So you may be able to charge the batteries in 15 to 20 minutes but long down the road the batteries just aren't gonna last as long because this is not necessarily the best thing to do to batteries it now the next con might be a con for some people it might not be but this is a bit big for a plug um, also the plug is very far down on this box so if you're going to be using a power strip, it's going to take out the outlets below and possibly the one above this prong thing when you're plugging it in. So it, it kind of takes up a lot of space when you're using this. Um, but if that doesn't bother you, then you may not care about that at all and that it's just going to be a 15 minute battery charger and that's all you really care about. So would I recommend this battery charger? Yes, I would. I mean, it is um, probably one of the best when it comes to um, convenience and how consistent it is. It does it the same every time. So, I hope to see you next Thursday with a new object that we are going to review. Um, I hope to see you then. Welcome to a new episode of Thursday Reviews. Today, we are not going to review this camera. The one time it just died just now. Really? It was just dead a second ago. I powered it on and it said change the batteries. Alright, well... <laughs> Join me next time on Thursday Reviews when we hopefully get this thing to work. <laughs> this battery charger is actually pretty old. <laughs> and we're going to move to the location that we're going to plug this in at. That didn't really make much sense. To plug this in at. Oh my god. I just had a massive heart attack, and yet I was immune to it at the same time. <laughs> I forgot I set my watch to start <laughs> to start recording this thing again. Two, one. So when you charge a battery in 15 minutes, unfortunately, you might not be keep helping the three. <laughs> English escaped me for a second. Three might give a better charge themselves. The batteries might last long, longer.